Well, the Yankees suffering a, disappoint, a disappointing 4-2 loss against the Houston Astros in Game 1 of the ALCS. And while Yankees fans are, of course, upset, it seems like they're not alone in feeling that way. Fox 5's Jennifer Williams takes a closer look at why the Astros seem to be disliked by so many around the country. And the Astros have the lead! For the longest time, it seemed as though the Yankees were the most hated club in all of baseball. But it seems like the Bronx Bombers may have lost that coveted title to the Astros. Definitely the Yankees, because I just can't tolerate cheating, you know? Play the game right. <laughs> yeah, I love the Astros. I don't think they cheated at all. As an NL, NL East fan, I really hate the Phillies. So no matter where things go, I'd rather the Phillies lose. If they played the Astros and lose, it would be like, you know, it'd be kind of bad. But I remember the 09 World Series and they played the Yankees. And it was just like, why can't they both lose? <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Glory out of reflective failure is a Boston Red Sox fan being happy that the Yankees lose because those two teams are specifically rivals. Dr. Cody Harvard, who created the rivalry perception scale, added a much older theory could be going on with the hatred for Houston as well. Schadenfreude is taking pleasure out of the demise of someone else. It can occur because like someone is good, um, someone's kind of at the top of the heap and people always want to knock down the person at the top of the heap. Ardent sports fans, ones that follow teams, travel around to go to games, start to have reactions in their brain as if they are the players. According to Dr. Leah Lagos, a clinical health and performance psychologist, research shows that for diehard fans, there's no differentiation between being at the game and in the game. They actually start to experience some of the emotions, some of which can actually be right age that mirror the response of a player in the game. Obviously it wasn't proven and um, they're going to prove it again once they sweep the Yankees for nothing. On the Upper East Side, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News. Very interesting. Yep, winning puts that all to rest for sure. All right, that's it for us now. We'll see you back here tonight at 10. And here's a look at what's coming up on the 6 o'clock news.